in between working and between working I, I don't have a whole lot of time to put this up in one day so it's taken quite a while uh, as you can see I've done some of this myself I'm up to the 40 foot mark and I'm ready to put up my 50 foot tower piece and uh, I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit some of the progress and maybe also show you the operation of the gin pole. I've been able to do this entire project by myself and on the 50 foot structure that's going up I've already connected guy wires that are connected to the tower and I did that so I wouldn't have to be up there jockeying around doing that while I'm 20 feet above my first set of guy lines and there's enough uh, co or enough guy line there to go probably a couple times but I didn't want to cut it and waste some so I've got those tied in loops they'll ride the tire section up I'll bolt it down and then drop the guy lines and secure them the, uh, the three guy wires as you see there one goes out to that pole and then the other one uh, run over to the house. Let's take a look and see how they are. My anchor supports on the end of the house are uh, angle iron, aluminum, and the guys at work helped me uh, acquire these and weld them in place. And I've got turnbuckles directly on top of the roof. And you see the uh, bolt there the two two nuts that is what's actually the main anchoring system I've got two other lag screws on uh, left and right kind of zoom in but that's the, the configuration and I'll show you how it's tied into the roof system okay we're looking at the inside if I swing back here uh, I took part of the softening apart to get to it and of course there you see the turnbuckle and what I used was I used all thread and each rafter is compressed with a, a flat washer whoops for some reason this is focusing I'll go to that's doesn't appear to be working uh hold on get to macro here for a second see how that does I don't, I'm not sure what's happening here, but uh, I'm sandwiching all of these um, rafters. I don't know if it's my eyepiece that's not focusing or if I'm just too close. or the uh, Maybe I'm too close to actually zoom in with this particular lens. I'll back off just a little bit. The all thread is tied into three two by sixes. So that should be plenty. Okay, Jan's going to help me with this, but she didn't want to have all the dirty clothes on the line, so she's taking them down. What I'll be doing next is um, hoisting this piece up. And I'll be taking it up to the top of the tower to about within six inches from being at the very top and uh, when I get up there you'll see the bottom of the gin pole I'll have a, a little mechanism that uh, I'll put onto the rope and it's got a little loop in it where my foot goes into it and when I get up on the tower I'll be able to put my foot in that loop there at the rope coming out of the bottom of the gin pole and use the leverage there to raise the tower up another six inches or so so I, that I can properly position it on the top of the tower. This gin pole is about 13 feet and uh, probably a foot to 18 inches overlapping there so it's it's well over the length of the 10 foot section that I'm going to put up. Uh, so far I've been using the clothesline that you see there 
as my anchor when I pulled the tower section up I tie it off to the, the clothesline pole and then that allows me time to go up and get it. So I guess I'm about ready to go. Okay, that, and I've just used this pole here to hold it. One safety thing to keep in the store is I use this block and tackle pulley here so that I stand away from the tower. And with the rope having full tension coming down when I'm, you know, 20 feet away pulling on it, doesn't put any strain on my jam pole or the tower. So now I'm going to climb up and show you how I use this little mechanism right here to help me when I get up there to pull the tower further. I'm not sure if Jan will be able to zoom in, but I'll be able to put this around the rope and then slide this in position and as that's coming out of the bottom of the gym pole I'll put my foot in there like that and push down on it and that's what's going to raise the tower all the way up and then after that it's just like you had two or three guys helping you it just takes time the only slow part about this is I have to keep going up and down the pole for a new tower, but if you're stranded on a desert island, at least you know it can be done. So honey, why don't you go ahead and cut it for now? Okay, let's go. built a little rope sling here which makes it quicker to walk in but I go ahead and I'll use this as a safety also. Okay, um, honey can you go ahead and cut the tape for now I got to clean out a hole. Here's where I got my, my foot in here. I'm going to bring the power in the right in place. And I'll lower it down. And it slipped right into place. Simple as pie. And that's it. I'll do the rest of it. I'll be locking it in.